Hello friends, a very happy new year to everyone. In this video, I would demonstrate a small utility I have developed for creating a copy of selected component in the assembly and its drawing. In a traditional way, if we have to make a copy of existing component from an assembly we need to open it up and then we go file save as we pick one of the option give it a new name new location and save it This is okay if we have to create a copy of a model. But what happens to an associated drawing? There is no direct way or option to make a copy of the drawing while you are saving the model. One option we can use is file pack and go and in check the option include drawings using this option we can create copy of the drawing as well as the model in the desired location the drawback of Pack and go is again you need to open up either the drawing or the model to run the pack and go. You can also do the same thing from the active assembly where you can go file pack and go and then you do include all drawings and you uncheck the names and then you check the components you want to select. So again this is something you can do but still you have to go through the trouble of selecting various options which means too many clicks. With the utility I have developed you just need to select the component in the assembly feature tree and then click on the save as button on the utility there are additional options in the utility which I will be explaining once I demonstrate the utility here is the interface of the small utility I have developed it has various options to do the task so go over these options one by one the options on the left sides are for setting up the default location or the initial output location if you select desktop the command will open up the desktop while it is prompting you to enter a file name the idea of giving this option is many users tends to save their files on desktop maybe they they don't want to do a trouble of digging through the folders to open up those files second option is selected component folder using this option the program will open up the folder where the existing component is saved again this option is given so that if a user wants to save the file in the same folder and do not want to click so many folders to dig into the folder and third option is just select output folder so using this option you can just select any folder again uh, using any of the option you can pick the folders you want even 
the advantage with the first two option is that they will start the folder selection in those locations so which saves time digging through the folders going on to the options on right the first option is copy drawing so if the component you have selected has a drawing with the same name and in the same folder the program will also create a copy of the drawing with a new name and the new location second option is clear selection so this is just to clear off any selected component once uh, a copy has been generated third option is close application if you keep that checked the, uh, the application will close after it has executed a task now in this version of in this program it does one component at a time so which means if you want to do more than one you will have to select them again and do the save as copy again use this utility the active component should be in assembly with at least one component the user should pick the component from the feature tree I am working on enhancing this utility where user can pick the component from the graphics area but currently it is not supported in this version of the program if a user wants to copy the drawing to the new location with the new name he has to pick the copy drawing option but this will only work if the current drawing of the selected component is in the same location and in the same name for demonstration of this program I have created a drawing of housing gear and I have kept it in the same location so if I open up the folder of this drawing it is in the same location as the same file so I selected this component I set the desktop path click the option copy drawing clear selection and did save as copy now the program prompts me to the desktop location it prompts me to put a file name I put test part and was save now let's go to the desktop and you can see a drawing and a model has been created and this time I'm using selected component folder and I do save as copy so it opens up in the same location so the saves time rather than digging through the folder now since the selected component is an is a part file the save as type is automatically set to solox part file and if the more selected model is an assembly so this save as type would automatically change to assembly type when working with assembly component it will not create a copies of the child components and their drawing of the selected assembly or sub assembly it only works for the top level sub assembly file or the component so let's do the test plate file and I do save as the file has been created let's check it out
you can keep uh, the application running in the background and on the press of alt tab you can access the utility now this utilities will be provided free of cost and to obtain your copy you need to generate uh, your system key and email it to me the program to generate the system key and my email id both are in the description of this video the system key generator generates a random number based on your system and it is unique to each and every system the key generator is a small utility to generate a serial number for your system it does not take out any confidential information from your system and since the key is unique to each system please do not change the key while you are sending the key to me in the subject kindly mention key for solidworks save as copy program i hope this utility will be helpful with your day to day work i would be very happy to see comments on how this utility can be improved thank you for your time and keep watching once again a happy new year